What's going on, Bully fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, bringing you everything dog breeding related. So, um, I got the veterinary grade microscopes I wanted to show you guys real quick. I've been getting a lot of people requesting a video on them, showing how to use them, things like that. So, that's what we're going to do today. So, stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on, Bully fam? Um, so I've been getting a lot of questions about the veterinary grade microscopes. Um, this is personally my microscope. I mean, this is what I use. If you're gonna get into the dog breeding game and um, you know you want to be able to stud out your 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 studs, your dogs, your males, you know, to other females, to other you know parties and things like that, then you want to ensure that if someone is coming and breeding to your male that the the quality of semen is there you know that they're giving you good semen they're giving you high numbers things like that if you're not paying a vet to evaluate the semen for you you want to make sure that you're ensuring that the the quality of semen is there you know you're checking the semen before you ship it um even if somebody's coming and breeding in person you want to make sure that the swimmers are there there's no problems with your stud on your end because especially say if the breeding doesn't take you know you can ensure that um you gave the uh the recipient good quality semen you know so uh like i said if you're not gonna pay the vet you know to do the semen evaluations for you a microscope is a great thing to invest in and you could also use it for other things like if you want to look at fecal matter if you want to do a, a vaginal cytology on your females um which will allow you to kind of some vets do it for like ovulation like trying to do breedings like um i would just do progesterone machines besides the way besides the point there's other things that you can you can use the microscopes for, but um, definitely they're great for semen evaluations for sure. So this is my personal one here, um, but these are the ones that we actually sell, and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and crack it open and show you guys. So as you can see, you're gonna get this travel case, which is really nice. Like I said, I use mine, you know. And what's nice about it is you can you can take your microscope and really go anywhere. I I know of people who um, actually bought microscopes from us um, and they, they they do it as a service for other people. They'll, they'll collect and do AIs for other people that may not be as confident breeding their studs. So they'll, they have these microscopes on the go and, and they, they check the semen before they do um, the AI, you know, which is actual an additional charge that they also offer, which is really, I mean, it's good for them, hey. So anyway, so you're gonna get the microscope, right? Let me take this out. So you're gonna get your microscope. Um, you're gonna, uh, and this is all the things that come with it, right? So you get your microscope here. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna have your slides. Um, you're gonna have, and I'll, 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 I'm gonna show you guys, but this is, the, you'll have the slides, the bottom slides. You'll have the top slides, um, more of the top slides. You're gonna get a screen. This is a cool, funky screen. And you are going to get your power cord. Not only will you have your power cord, but it actually also comes with this um, this adapter here that you'll want to use. It's almost like a surge protector, from my understanding. So you go ahead and plug this in. It's ready to go into the wall. But anyway, so you'll have your source of power. You're going to have your screen. It actually also comes with a regular lens if you want to look at the microscope regularly, traditionally. But, I mean, the screen is perfect. You know, I, that's all I use, to be honest. I don't use the other little one. And like I said, you'll have your slides. You'll have a nice big box of slides. So um, let me show you guys step by step how to put this thing um, together to get it rocking and rolling. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove our travel case, right? Our fancy smancy travel case. I like these a lot, actually. So this can go over here, get out of the way. All right. So you're going to have your microscope. And now I'll try to do this backwards so maybe you can see as well. Um, one thing actually I forgot to mention was it's actually going to also come with your like calipers. So this is the caliper, right? And um, I don't think I'm quite using the proper scientific name for it, but that's what I call it. So this is the caliper and it will allow you, the slide will fit in here and it'll allow you to move it up, down, left, right. Um, the, the actual slide once we have that on here. So you'll see there's like three pins. So you'll want to line these pins up with the plate. That's at the bottom of the microscope. I don't know if you guys can really see, but there's a plate here. So 
you get a zoom in on that. There's a plate here. We're gonna go ahead and line up the screws, right? You can see mine has some marks because I never really taken it off. So now we got it on the plate and now all you have to do is literally take this little um, screw here and just tighten it down. That's it. Um, and now you'll be able to put your slides, you know, here you have this little thing here that'll hold the slide. So that's it. You put your caliper on first, right? Now that your caliper is on, we can go ahead and put our screen. So there's a little metal bar here and this actually moves, see? This moves. And this is actually where, this little piece here is where you would go ahead and put your traditional lens if you wanna look at it traditionally instead of using the screen. So now we'll go ahead. Otherwise the cap will just stay on. I keep the cap on because I don't use the traditional way. So the back of the screen will slide onto the microscope like this. Go ahead and slide it on. And then on the back of it, if you can see, we go ahead and twist this and it just locks it in place, that's all. And then there's another piece here that you can tighten or unloosen and it'll allow you to you know, adjust the up and down. So we'll tighten that as well. And now those two things are tight, we're good to go, right? We can still move the screen and whatnot, but now the screen is attached, right? So it'll have these three um, adapter, uh, I think they're called RCA, whatever the case may be, but um, we have our, our, our plugs that we're gonna go ahead and plug in, right? So the first one that we're going to plug in, this yellow, is actually going to go to the back here. That's the first one. Now, with our power cord over here, right, we're going to go ahead and plug it in first. So now that it's plugged in, and you'll see the light will light up, we're going to go ahead and plug this in now, and we're going to go ahead and plug the... Uh, the, the female adapter on the screen to the power cord. That's gonna go ahead and give this thing power. And now a funky little additional thing that this microscope carries is actually this plate can heat up for you. Um, in certain circumstances, you would want that. Plug, plug this middle one in and it'll cause the middle piece here to light up. And actually, I'll just show you guys real quick so you can see. This lights up, this warms up to a specific temperature and keeps the plate at a consistent temperature. So long story short, I'll go ahead now and we're gonna go ahead and connect it to the left-hand side, which is gonna give the microscope power for the, uh, for the um, light. And now you can actually control, and I know it's a lot of back and forth, but you can control how much light you're getting on this little piece at the bottom. So anyway, so we have our power on one side from our, our power um, we have one connected into the female adapter for the screen and then we go ahead and we have the yellow piece um, from the screen connected to one side of the microscope. So now it is all set up and we're ready to go. So what we're going to go ahead and do is, um, and actually I'm sorry, you can, this is, you know, turn the screen on and off. You know, the power button is right here. So that's to turn it on and off and um, you're pretty much in business, you know, so now what you can use to elevate the plate up and down is the side knobs right here, as well as you're going to have three different magnifications up here that you go ahead and you just twist. And now you have, you know, your lowest, your medium and your highest magnification. So we are all set to go. So what we're going to do real quick actually is um, just for an example, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull um, we actually do have a breeding that we need to do. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull one of the stud dogs and we're going to put it under the microscope and show you guys um, before we complete the breeding. So um, we'll be right back. And we're back. So we went ahead and we pulled from our stud. I got a little bit of the collection here so we can go ahead and show you guys on the microscope. So we got our collection right here in this cup, right? So what you'll do is you'll go ahead and take a syringe and more than likely it'll be the syringe that you're already doing the AI with. So you'll take the syringe and you're gonna go ahead now and draw out. Literally, all you need is about a drop. You know, you only need about a drop or two. So I got our collection right here in the syringe and what I meant to grab real quick actually, and you should have this already ready actually, is um, you're gonna wanna take out one of the bigger, one of the bigger slides, right? And then you're going to go ahead and have one of the top slides, which is a smaller square ready. So all you do now is take your syringe and like I said, you're literally, and, and you can zoom in on this if you want, um, you're literally putting a drop. So I'm gonna show you guys, right? You're putting a drop. This is all you need. 
That's all you need right there. That's all you need. That's more than enough. So now we're going to take our top piece, our top slide. Let me get this bad boy out. And now you're just going to place it right over. And you'll see what happens once I place it right over. And let me see if I can. There we go. And it's just going to flatten completely out like that. You see? Flatten completely out like that. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead, open up our caliper. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to hold the microscope this way as well. We're going to open up this caliper over here and place the slide right under the uh, light, right under the lens. There we go, like that. So now, if you wanna zoom up onto the screen, actually get the whole thing, actually, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna go ahead now, and we have it on the, the lowest magnification. So we're gonna go ahead and twist this knob. The bigger knob is to, to twist it up faster. The, sl the lower, the little knob is to move it slower, and you'll see what I mean, why. But anyway, as you can see on the screen here, and try to zoom in, because I know it's hard for seeing it from the camera, but this is all the sperm cells moving around. And this is on the lowest magnification, so you can see it for its like entirety. Now we'll go ahead and bring it down a little bit and go on our mid ma mid magnification. This is, I I'm mostly kind of looking, I, I tend to look at all three, but I, I really like the mid um, magnification. And as you can see, yet again, zoomed in even further, all these sperm cells moving around like crazy. This is the ideal collection. This is what you want to see, you know? If they were dead, bad. Don't do the breeding. If they were all dead, something's wrong. Um, even if you received semen, right? Say semen was shipped to you and you put it under the microscope slide and you had to let it, you know, warm up. You know, the, the sperm got to, started to wake up. I'm sorry. That's what I meant to say. If it, if it started to wake up. Um, this, I mean, this, this, is, this is perfect right here. You know, if they're all dead, they're not moving, they're not waking up, you have a problem on your hands. And now, this is on the highest magnification. And as you can see, I'm, I'm moving with the big knobs, but as I get closer, I'm gonna move with the, with, the, with the smaller knobs because of the focus is just that fine. You can actually pass it very easily. So, as you can see, let me see. Going down a little bit, and there we go. Perfect. And as you can see, the sperm cells are moving like crazy. Um, they're moving, most of them are moving in one direction. They have complete tails. There's no broken tails, nice size heads. Um, th I mean, this is really what you want to see, you know, and this is on the highest magnification. A lot of these other microscopes don't let you zoom in to this degree. And this is what's super, 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 super important because you want to see the tails. Are they broken? Are they swimming in circles? Things like that. And we can really look at all these cells. And now, like I said, with the caliper, if you want to take a look and I'll hold this, I'll move the microscope to the side. And now with the caliper, it allows us to move the slide up and down. Look at where my fingers are. Up and down. You know what I'm saying? Up and down. And left and right. You know, so we can really look at this entire slide for its entirety. And um, that's pretty much it. The same thing if you were to do a vaginal cytology, you would take one of these slides, you know, you would take a smear and smear it on, on, the, um, on the slide itself here. What you could do as well is, especially when you're doing a cytology, they have stains for the, for, the, for the slides. But if you're mostly evaluating semen, this is pretty much here, it, here guys. You wanna look and see if, do they have tails? Are they swimming in straight directions? Are they swimming in circles? Are they broken? Are the sperm cells even alive? Are they dead? You know, those are all things. And, and I'll do an episode if you guys really want what I look for when it comes to, <laughs> that's the dogs here, guys. You guys know how it goes. So anyway, um, if you guys want an episode, me going more into detail on what I look at when it's a, a semen evaluation, we can definitely do that. But like I said, guys, that's pretty much it. You know, um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick step-by-step -step on how to, um, you know, set up your microscopes, how to look at, you know, some organisms under the microscope. And that's pretty much it. If you want to change the magnifications, all you got to do is twist it there, like I said. And, and like I said, just have fun. You know, you can do anything. You can put anything under the microscope and see how interesting it looks. And um, that's pretty much it, you know. And once you're done, you can go ahead, you know, turn off the screen here, unplug it put it in its box and you're good to go whether you want to travel or not i mean i've even seen people which is which is awesome is i've seen people actually take those those battery uh those those portable bricks you know that is like for charging your phone and for your laptop and things like that and i've actually seen them you know take that with them so then they can use the microscope portably uh, uh portable um 
whether it's you know doing a semen evaluation on the road or whatever the case may be they'll take that portable brick plug in the microscope to it and you're good to go you know so anyway as you can see this was the perfect example of a semen evaluation i'm looking at it under the microscope uh like i said when you're done you can go ahead turn off the screen turn off it from the side turn off the light hit the caliper and this is what it looks like you know and we can discard the the slide um and that's pretty much it so all right guys i hope this was helpful i hope this was useful if you guys have any questions you know you can feel free to contact us um if you're interested in purchasing a microscope from us the veterinary grade microscopes um you can hit the link in the description we have it there um and we'll be glad to answer any questions you have as well so um this is pretty much it guys i hope this information was useful i hope it was helpful and i'll see you guys on the next episode of breeders hacks